A couple years ago, a couple years. Uh, yes, I just told the story and it didn't work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to build a head tracker using the Kinect where uh, in the dark I could find where people were standing and where their head was. So we got this sort of working and I just wanted to run through how I was able to do that. So um, instead of having an actual Kinect here, I'm just playing back a pre-recorded video of when we were testing this out. So with the Kinect, we can get this really nice silhouette. So how do you find where the head is on the silhouette? Well, the head's typically at the top typically. and typically <laughs> in the middle. So um, this technique really just um, operates on this idea of smushing the video horizontally and also smushing it vertically. So um, we're taking the video and we're going into this sub patch called horizontal average. And that's using this object called dim op. And it's basically just taking the video and squishing it so that it's one pixel wide. And you know, the normal, so it ends up being 480 pixels tall, but only one pixel wide. And we're doing that using the maximum operator. So what we're left with is a video image that's one pixel wide, 480 pixels tall, and this is it here. So by smushing this video all the way uh, left and right down to a single tall pixel of video, we can figure out where the top of the frame, is, where the top of the object in the scene is, the top of the silhouette. By uh, In this case, I'm just using fine bounds, the thing that I said I would never use, uh -huh. the color tracker. Uh -huh. this, is where, this is where I do use fine bounds because yeah. it's really useful. So if I find the boundaries of all the white pixels, I can look at the top part and just figure out where is the top pixel in this scene. And that gives me my X coordinate, uh, sorry, my Y coordinate. That gives me the top of the person. Now I also need to find them left to right. Where are they in this scene left to right? I, I know where the top of them is. So this is the top. And it, as he moves up and down, you can see it goes, it goes down. Um, but I'd still need to find the, the center X, Y, you know, where is he left to right? And to do that, I smush the video vertically. Um, so basically I make it one flat video that's one pixel tall and 640 pixels wide. And that's here, that's what, the, oh, this is extra, this is extraneous, so it's not necessary. So here, when I smush the video, it ends up looking like this. And if we look at a graph of those pixel values, we see something like this. So what we can do is we can use the maximum operator and find the top, basically the maximum pixel and where is that brightest pixel in the scene left to right and just follow it. So this is the X value of, of the head track. This is the Y value of the head track. And when you draw a nice little box around that, you, you can basically find his head. Now he's, he's sort of tilting left and right in order to try and mess up the system, which mm -hmm. it, it does, it messes up. But you know, we sort of figured people weren't gonna do that too much. Right. We wanted to sort of make it work if someone was kind of just standing there. And in that case, it works really well. And this is not face tracking, so it's not looking for faces, which is computationally very expensive. Uh, this would work at a pretty good distance. They could be standing pretty far away from the camera. Um, they could be standing in the dark. It doesn't matter. The lighting conditions don't really matter because, because it's using the connect. it's the connect depth sensor. Uh, and so this is a really this ended up being a very robust way of finding um, two heads. This is just the version that just looks for one head, but uh, finding where someone's head is in a in a scene and it worked ended up working really well. Um, you invented face swap and uh, I invented face swap, but you know. Uh, We'll just, you know, let it doesn't it matter. We'll Every, let it any, anything any artist does is going to be turned into an app within six months anyway. So, um, but that, that's fine. That's fine. All right, I'm going to stop here.